It's hard. Rule number one, when you're thinking about setting yourself a goal, one that's going to really move your life forward, your goal must excite you. It must make you think, yes. It must make you kind of want to run out there and tell everybody what your goal is. It should excite you. But conversely, your goal should also scare the hell out of you. Your goal should be scary. It should be a very fine line between thinking yes and then oh I couldn't do that, that's a bit too scary. Because when you've got a goal that has that balance, that's the kind of goal that's going to move your life forward. That's the kind of goal that's going to rock your world for the better. So when you're thinking about your goal, does it excite you? Does it scare you? Then you're on to a winner. The second rule, a really important one, is your goal needs to be achievable. So many people will set themselves a goal that's just too far over there. It's 12, two years in, uh, into the future or five years into the future. There is nothing wrong with setting a long-term goal. Please let me not discourage you. But you need to bring your goal closer to you. If you've got a five-year goal, fab. But what's achieved within the next six months or 12 months? When I'm setting goals with my clients, we're always setting goals that are achievable within six months and certainly no longer than 12. So make sure the goal that you set is within, within that time frame. The third goal. Your goal, sounds simple, needs to be measurable. You need to know when you get there, otherwise what's the point? You need to be able to measure your goal. It sounds obvious, but I know people come to me and their goal might be to be happier and more fulfilled. when you're happier and more fulfilled. What will be different? You need to know when you get there. You need to be able to measure your goal. The fourth rule is you've got to be committed. If you're not committed, guys, to your goal, if it doesn't excite you enough, it ain't going to happen. You've got to be honest with yourself. Am I really ready to do this? Am I committed? Will I get off my bum and take the action necessary to make it happen? Because that's what it's all about. I want to achieve this because it's going to make my husband happy, or my kids happy, or my boss. Come on, it's time to get selfish. This is your goal, your life. Forget everybody else. So it's got to be your goal. Very important. And finally, and most important, your goal, whatever it is, has to make you happier. If it's not going to make you happier, then what's the point? Whatever goal you're working towards has to make you happier. It has to put a smile on your face. And if it's not going to do that, it's not the right goal. It's not the right goal. I want to tell you about three amazing individuals that I have been working with over the last few years that have transformed their life. The first lady I'd like to tell you about is a lady called Emmeline. I met Emmeline exactly this time last year. She listened to me talk, she grabbed me as I came off stage, and we started working together thereafter. Emmeline worked in software training, had been made redundant, and decided she was going to use this opportunity to do something she wanted to do. She didn't want to work in software training anymore. She wanted to do something that made a difference, something she was passionate about. I started working with Emmeline and basically she went through lots of training, lots of hard work, and she now is a massage therapist and she has her own practice in Dorking. And she now is doing something that she loves. And I've been working with Emmeline, I'm still working with her right now, we're working together for a year. The second person I'd like to tell you about is a lady called Caroline. I met Caroline quite a few years ago now. Caroline was a science teacher, came to me with a really outlandish goal of wanting to own llamas and trek them, really kind of out there. And she actually, when she sat down in front of me, wasn't even going to admit this. She said, oh, you'll laugh at me, I can't, I can't do that, that's ridiculous. And with a bit of encouragement, it became her goal and we worked together to make sure it happened. I worked with Caroline about four months, but we did loads of research, we looked at the care of these animals and where to go, what to do, and then eventually I got an email about four months 
months later saying, my llamas are in my field, do you want to come and see them? At which point I went, yeah. And at their goal was somebody that took something that they thought was completely unrealistic and made it happen. And the final lady I want to tell you about is a lady called Yana. Yana came to me at this show a couple of years ago. She said to me, I'm an accountant, but I hate numbers. I've gone down the wrong path and I'm scared. I don't know what to do. This isn't right for me. And together, Yara and I created a plan of action to find her purpose. She didn't know what it was. And Yana now runs her own business in a similar line to me, helping people to find their purpose. To three amazing individuals that have decided, you know what, something's not working. I'm not happy. And have created a plan of action to turn it around and make it happen. Today. The message today is that it's really time to wake up to your life. Are you on the right path? Are you happy about the direction your life is going in? And if you are, then keep going. That's what life's all about. But if not, then stop. Don't let another year pass you by doing something you don't want to be doing in a relationship that doesn't make you happy, in a job that doesn't fulfill you. Stop life by the scruff of the neck and do something about it. Find someone that can help you. Read books, attend workshops. Do something to get your life on track. Because when you follow, you'll find your purpose. When you follow your calling, when you start to set and achieve goals, your life will transform. I promise you, I've been there. I do it. I see people every day do it. Go out there and make it happen. There's two ways of looking at it. You can either instigate the change in your life. You can decide, I'm going to make the change. I'm going to go out there and do it. Or you can wait for change to be shoved upon you by whoever. You can just wait for it to be forced upon you and you have to adapt with you, like it or not. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to be the master of my destiny. I like to know where I'm going. So the choice 